Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. I have some really fun finds today to show you. Um, I am hot, I am sweaty, but it was so worth it. It was close to 100 today, so yeah, it was really, really hot. But I braved it, I went out to this estate sale, and I'm so glad that I did. Um, and then I also have a couple other things to show you. But first, let's start with um, the estate sale stuff that I got. Um, I found this box. It's like an old cigar box. Um, really cool. I like it. And I'm actually going to, um, cause it also has the clasps. I'm going to put, um, my buttons in here. That way they're not in like all random jars scattered about. So that's why I got this. So that was the first thing I got. Hold on. Um, let me see. Then... Um, I got a couple of nice, like, trims and laces and things, you know, little bits of everything. Um, some eyelet trim. I thought this one was really pretty. That's really, really pretty. Uh, let's see, what did I stuff in this bag? So we have this trim, which I actually really like. Oops, I think it's that side. Yep. Um... What else was in here? This one, which I love. This is another of the same, the other one. And then this one here. Hold on. Awesome. It is awesome, awesome stuff. And too bad there wasn't more because I would have bought more. Um, this is everything I found in terms of like laces and trims and stuff. So, you know, I just had to take it all because it was really cool. And then there's this one here, which is really nice too. Oh, I think maybe this is the front. So that is what I got for laces and trims. Um, let me put that aside right here. Then, oh my gosh, I have so much. I don't even like know where to start. Um, oh, I actually, I got this. Found these in a can in the basement. Um, they're all like embroidery transfers or patterns and stuff like that. Um, first, I was like, look at this one. This is so cool. This is the Wonder Art Needlework Spring Season 1950. And it's just awesome. I mean, I love this stuff. Um, however, when I, after the estate sale, I went to my parents' house. Well, I was at their house and I went to the estate sale because it was near their house. Um, and my mom wanted to look through the stuff too. And she was telling me first, um, because I had plans for this. I told her what I wanted to do with this stuff. Um, but she said, wait, because she thinks that, I don't know, it's, it's like very, in her head, very historical things that you shouldn't get rid of. Um, but I might keep a couple of the things, and then what I wanted to do is do a giveaway for the rest. So I'll, I'll have to go through it kind of like piece by piece and really kind of unfold everything and just see what it is. But, I mean, it's such cool stuff. So this is um, a possible giveaway, but I'm going to actually have to look through it first. Oh, let me put this... All right, um, let's see. Then I found a bunch of little keys all over and I started taking them off the keychains or the key rings. And um, I found this little box and it was empty. So I put all these little keys on the box. So I mean, they're, they're really cute. These ones are more like, you know, regular keys, but like I thought like these type, they're fun to do the, those key tag things, the tags with the little hanging keys. Um, my friend Sherry did those. So, here's like a little tiny one. So I thought these were perfect for that. So that I'm actually going to keep on my desk because I have my other keys there. So I found that. Then these were so awesome to find. Um, there's a $3 tag on it, but they didn't charge me $3 because I kind of combined everything that I bought and just gave me a bulk price, which I was completely fine with. But there's 10 little of these little books here. And I want to do some research about these because I mean they are so cool and then these two are a little bit different but like look how yellowed and old they are 
and there's copyright dates here but they're so small I'm gonna probably have to put on my glasses to read it but yeah I found these so I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with these yet um, depending on what I find with my research I will either sell them or I don't know I don't know yet but they're really cute and I want to hold on to them for a little while and just kind of read them so there's that um, and then oh I scored with like the vintage paper stuff um, hold on let me put this aside for a second sorry guys everything is still in my bag so um, well, I found these and I'm not exactly sure what they would go to um, they almost look like sideways library cards kind of but it's it's for something so I found these they were loose and then I found these in the original pack look at 49 cents for all of these and look how yellowed they are I don't know if you can see that but these are gonna make super cool tags so I can't wait to use those um, I also got a bunch of these little notebooks here this is the only one that was actually written in there's some stuff but all the other ones they're all blank on the inside and I wish there was like a marking or a year because they're really cool. So there's, um, I think three different, yeah. So there's this one here, that picture. There is this picture here. And then there's this picture here. So, I mean, I don't know if they're old. I don't know really much about them other than that they were small and they were cute and I wanted them. So <laughs> that's why they came home with me. Um, then... I found these papers and I didn't know what it was but my mom looked at them and she's like they're for the typewriter because I guess see how it says typist please note the scale corresponds to the typewriter um, PICA scale start all typing at same point on scale fold back or remove stub after typing so the way this is set up is for a spe I guess specific typewriters or something she was explaining to me I just think they're cool so <laughs> I have that and then this one which is unopened and again look at 50 cents so that was pretty cool um let's see I also found a bunch of pretty pretty napkins they're paper napkins but I've never seen napkins like this um isn't that pretty this is really really pretty and I'm sorry if it's blowing I I don't think you can hear the fan but you might be able to um, look at these they're just so like elegant and delicate so those two and then the green ones I accidentally picked up with these um, but they're just plain with a big P on them so it was these that I was looking at these two and then these just came along for the ride so these are just, these are a little more plain. So there's that. Then I scored <laughs> with doilies. Um, hold on. And, and there was actually more, but I mean, really, how many doilies did I want to cart up with me? So some of them are so old, they're yellowed. So we have little tiny ones. Here's some more. Oh, these are kind of like a medium size one. They're so intricate and pretty though. There's those. Um, here's a package that's not opened and 89 cents at Building 19. And we all know if you watch my other videos, Building 19 is not around anymore. So that I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so also we have some silver and some gold ones. And these are 99 cents at value village which I'm not really familiar with um, I wish they would have like a date on them but these are unopened so that's pretty cool here is another one and these are well they was 29 cents and I guess it was marked down to 25 cents so you know that those are oh and look at the back picture these are pretty old and these haven't been opened yet either so that is another thing that's fun Here's another one from Value Village, $1.69. Then I found these hearts, 
again at building 19 for 98 cents so these i don't think are um old i mean they're older but they're not really like vintage or anything and then here's just a bag of just random we have gold circles we have white hearts green doilies i don't know if i've ever seen green doilies really cool red green some hearts again big hearts i mean it is really cool so i think i'm good for valentine's day <laughs> and i'll probably end up putting some of these in my shop i don't know which ones or how many but i will share they're just so cool oh and this is another one yeah another heart one um then we have these which are like a foily kind and there's eight pieces in there these are not opened either and then these these i think are a little bit more older too because they have a 29 cent stamp on them not a stamp but, um price so so that's what i have for vintage doilies and regular doilies uh, let me put that hopefully it can fit there uh let's see oh i got these cards and these are not um these aren't old at all, but these are really cool. And I have a couple kits from Elsie Bell's bookshelf, like butterfly kits. These are going to look perfect in. So, first of all, look at this envelope. How cool are these envelopes? And then, look at the card that goes in the envelope. I mean, that is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And I think they're all the same. Yeah, they are. But I was like, I don't even care that they're not vintage. These are going to look so good in the butterfly journals, uh, um, kits, with the kits. So, yeah, so that's those. Um, let's see. Oh, I did find a little random bag, and I just sort of looked to the first couple, and I just took the whole bag. But they're little tiny, like, greeting cards. And look at this. I mean, how cute is that? It's so cool. So, yeah, so all just like random. Oh, this is the Museum of Fine Arts. 60 cents. I don't, so I don't know how old that one is. This one looks a little more vintage, though. Hmm. Some more unicorn ones. Here's flower. This one is hot air balloons. For a baby. So that one's blank. Oh, this one's 98 or 88. So this is a little bit older. Another four baby one. These are just blank. Yeah, so I mean, we got the kitties. They're cute. Definitely cute. So I'm glad I didn't leave them behind. Um, what I'll do with them, I'm not sure exactly yet, but you know, you can always put them somewhere in a journal. Um, and then I got some different papers. I got these two. And these I'm actually keeping. I'm not going to even use them. They're blank on the inside. They have just white paper. But the reason why I'm keeping them, number one, because of the size. You know, I like little things. But number two, oops. They're from Woolworths. And look at 19 cents at Woolworths. Oh my gosh, this is bringing back such memories. I probably had some of these when I was young. But these are going into my personal collection just because of that. So there's those. Then I have a, a score pad. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's that old because it's 88 cents. American greetings so yeah probably not that old but I mean score pads and my mom took out two sheets <laughs> she said she needed to use these for her card games so she just took them out and said um thanks so, but whatever <laughs> it's my mom <laughs> I don't mind sharing I love the cover on that though that's really cool then I don't know how many people remember Bradley's um, so originally at Bradley's, these were 59 cents, and then they got marked down to 30 cents. But they're like little filler papers, which are going to be really cute for like little journals and stuff. So I got that. And then I got two of these. 
also good like filler papers for journals and um, these are 19 cents so I'm assuming they're a little bit older as well so I thought that was really cool um, then I do have some of these notepads these are also Bradley 69 cents marked down to 35 and these are like shopping lists like that so I thought those would be fun and then there's this shopping list which is super I like the like the cover here but I mean same just regular paper like that then let me just put this aside over here I got this another shopping list hang it came from cash network but it's green has perforated edges which is really cool but see since it's stapled what I thought is I could take out the staple and then just insert this like the actual the whole page into a journal maybe I don't know but it was cool looking so I got it so the last thing from the estate sale that I found were these and they're, they're Disney dollars um, two of them are from 89 one is from 88 um, the two from 89 are in perfect condition there's no di like tears rips anything like that the one from 88 it's a little rough here like it might have been folded or something see right here and um, when the lady was going through my pile she pulled these out and she's like ooh so I'm thinking I'm like is that gonna jack up the price of my stuff and she said well kind of because I'll, I'll charge you face value for them so like you know a buck a buck a buck and I was like well whatever I mean they're pretty cool I personally don't mind you know so I was like yeah, I'll pay $3 for them. When I got back to my parents' house, um, you know, I was talking to my mom about it, and we were like, we should look it up just to see, you know, maybe they go for $5. The ones that I found online ranged per per bill between $14.99 and like $36.99 $36 for one bill. So I'll try my hand at selling them like that too, but I want to hold on to them for a little while because they're just, now they're really cool to me. So, that's what it is. Disney dollars. One Disney dollar. And they're in such good condition. I mean, aside from this, this one, which still really isn't super, super bad. So, that was definitely a score on that one. So, that's everything I got from the estate sale. Then I, well, when I came to my parents' house, my dad said he had a book for me. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at this. That's Electrical Buyer's Reference, 1940. Who makes it? And let me just move this stuff so it, the book doesn't hit it. But it's the coolest book ever because it has all, like, the different advertisements or, like, parts if you need to buy parts. Um just it's so cool and it's from the 40s so you know I mean this is awesome so I'm thinking he's like yeah you can have it and I was like oh perfect you know I want to come home and tear out the pages he's like oh but don't rip up the book you can just make photocopies of the pages <laughs> so I'm like so you're giving me this book but I can't rip it up he's like you can just photocopy it so I'll find some ones that I like and I'll just use my copier and I'll <laughs> I'll make copies but it's a thought that counts you know he knows what I do um, and he found a book in his I don't know in the basement or somewhere um, that I could use as long as I don't rip it up so I do appreciate that thanks dad so that was from him and then um, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to the library because my sister had to go and um, I got a couple of books. I got this one, which I really like. And he told me the same thing. I bought this with my own money. And he's like, these are really good poems. He knew all the poems. He's like, you shouldn't rip this book up either. You can just make copies of this. So here's another book that I really like, but I can't do anything with it. But I can make copies, he said. <laughs> then there is this one, which is really cool because it's, Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, but it's in um, Russian. 
which I thought was super cool. So it still has like illustrations and stuff, but you know, but it's in a different language. And I think if I was looking at this correctly, um, 1977. So I don't think my dad didn't care about this one because he's like, what are you going to do with that? I was like, take out the pages and use them in my journals. He's like, oh, okay. So <laughs> this one I have permission to cut up. And then this one, American Deserts, they have some really pretty pictures in here. And um, I didn't show him this one because I didn't want him to say anything. But again, this one, I can make tags, but I can also use them like pages. So this one I'll probably take apart too. And then, oh my gosh, I have this one, Elvis. Portrait of the King, I love Elvis. Well, I don't love Elvis. I love his music. But what I want to do is I want to make myself, or I want to make an Elvis journal. We're, I, and I'm not sure yet if I want to sell it when I finish it or keep it. Because I am like a number one Elvis fan. Love it. And it's not that old. It's 95, so it's like 24 years old. But it has so many pictures. I mean... It's going to make such good, like, oh, I'm sorry for the glare, too. Like, such good graphics for a journal. So, I have that. And then the last thing I have at the library, I got this. Fire engines. Oh, sorry about the glare again. Um, this was copyright. The last one was 1959. Um, pretty good condition. I mean, I don't see any rips or tears or anything but the thing is uh, well it does have this on the front I mean maybe that can come off I'm not sure I personally don't do golden books so I'm going to be doing another giveaway with this and I think I have another golden book that I'm going to do a giveaway with too so be on the lookout I'm going to do a giveaway for some golden books pretty soon and let me just look around I think that is everything so I braved the you know 100 degree weather today I lost probably like 40 pounds sweating up in that estate sale, but I'm glad I went because I'm glad with everything that I got. So I hope you liked my findings too, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.